Summer approaches Lake Erie stands on the brink of another algal bloom season. This recurring menace that threatens the ecology and the balance of our ecology of the lake. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby joins us in studio with more on how communities around the lake are gearing up for the potential challenges that we could see from record rainfall this spring. Yeah, Jeff, homo algal blooms have become the talk of the summer for nearly a decade, especially as the heat cranks up. We head closer to the 10 year anniversary of the water crisis of 2014 with record rainfall in the month of April. This summer is already shaping up to be an active year on the lake. Lake Erie, known for its scenic beauty and vibrant ecosystem, is once again under scrutiny as experts warn of its impending algae bloom season. With early predictions already at moderate to larger than moderate, it's raising questions of whether we should be concerned already. The, the, large, the large amount of rain we had in April, which I believe was a record-breaking amount of rain in April, uh, it is the main driver for the above-average harmful algal bloom forecast. Uh, the, the large amount of rain carries the runoff that carries the nutrients of phosphorus and nitrogen. And then when we get more phosphorus and nitrogen, we get a larger bloom. So what factors are usually considered when making an early prediction for algae bloom forecasts? Uh, those early forecasts are mainly based on the daily measurements of phosphorus that Heidelberg University takes uh, from the Maumee River. If, if they forecast a relatively drier May and June, that forecast won't change much because we won't get much rain. But if we get a lot of rain in June, then that amount of phosphorus will go up and will increase the bloom size. As it stands now, the predictions are at a moderate range, but experts say there are a lot of protections in place to keep our drinking water safe. The, the, on the drinking water side, uh, there, are, there are a lot of sensors that are in the lake that give water treatment plants an early warning. We, we have these forecasts you know, on the seasonal scale that give operators you know, a month or two to prepare. In the meantime, experts say there are things residents of Toledo and near Lake Erie can do to play their part to stop algae blooms from forming and growing. One is using, no, no, uh, uh, using phosphate-free fertilizers. Um, another is uh, make, if you have a septic tank, make sure your septic tank's not leaking. Um, uh, start installing rain barrels. Um, anything you can do to help hold hold the water back um, will, will help. Well, as we take a look at the last few years of the algal bloom uh, forecast and that outlook, we've seen up and down from 2017 to 2018 and back up to 2019 in the past few years has been rather low. But of course, this early season outlook is right around a 4.5 to 7.5. Now, as you look at those impacts that cause that runoff more. You talk about that high precipitation, and we have definitely seen that in the month of April, where we saw nearly eight, eight inches of rainfall. And of course, that algae bloom pleak is typically from August to September. Reporting in studio, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2All 11.